Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a Final Cut Pro tutorial today and how to do picture in picture inside Final Cut Pro X. Uh, I wouldn't say this is as easy as iMovies. iMovies makes it dead simple to make a picture in picture effect. Basically, all you do is you drag one clip over another and you basically hit one button and it does your picture in picture for you. You don't have to resize your clip in any way as you would do in Final Cut. But this is more of the professional way to do it and I sometimes do this effect in some of my videos where I have to show two shots maybe I show my screen like I'm doing now and maybe I have to show my keyboard or my mouse for a, like a tutorial or am, I do, or am I doing a gesture for a uh, Mac video so basically what you want to do is you want to open up Final Cut Pro 10 uh, make your event and your uh, timeline here so you can have a fresh slate unless you're doing it inside a new project then do it that way but basically what you want to do is you want to take our original clip that we want to see first. This is the clip that you're going to put as the background for the picture in picture. So this is basically that the clip that everybody's going to watch um, it, as we're watching the picture in picture in the corner. So I'm going to pick this clip right here. This is just an unboxing video that I did on the channel. Um, I just, I'm using it as reference footage. And as for my case, I'm going to trim the footage down a little bit because I want this to just be able, I just want this to be short. So I'm going to do that and also I'm going to kill the audio with these clips as well so um, I don't get any background noise into my microphone. So this is the clip that everybody's going to watch. So we're watching this clip along and then somehow somewhere here we want to do a picture and picture effect. So take your second clip that you want to use for your picture and picture effect. Um, just take a section of it or use the whole thing if you want and drag it on top of the main clip and if if it's not um, short enough or long enough just to resize it so it's um, so it just matches so it looks nice so I'm just gonna bend this over a little bit and right here and as for my case as well I'm gonna kill the audio but you guys don't have to do this so basically what you're gonna do now is that when you watch these videos back um, you're gonna notice that one video covers up the video that we want to be the main video the picture and picture clip that we want to use is basically covering that so to fix this we're gonna hit this button right here which is gonna bring up our wireframe and we're just gonna move this clip up like so and then what we're gonna do is if we take a corner we can drag inward and then we can resize and reposition our footage the way we want so if you want to you know make this smaller bigger now you can also move your other clips so make sure you um, use the right clip is basically what I'm trying to get here is basically um, don't mess around with your main clip just mess around with that so you can make that as big as, as small as you want I'm gonna fix this so this looks pretty good and then that looks good we're gonna hit the dumb button um, I did this quickly but you guys can take much more time than I did um, when it comes to doing this stuff so basically when you're done all you gotta do is play it back and both clips should be playing at the same time so that's basically all I do guys you can export that out into a uh, YouTube format and you can upload this to YouTube or you can upload to another site but this is just a quick and easy way to do picture in picture in Final Cut Pro I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video